Hi, everybody. I'm playing this record here. Ray Budziak plays Domino Polka. This is a happy birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you. Anyway, I want you to note a few things. One, the sticker that says Volume 2. The sticker that says Stereo. And then what I want you to uh, notice... On the record here, there's a bunch of scribbling right there. And can you see at the end, there's an O at the end? Okay. Let's take a look at that. I want to show you some some fun shenanigans. Okay, okay, okay. Want to check out these shenanigans? You're going to like this, guys. <laughs> so I went to Discogs. Went ahead and tried to find this and located it. Couldn't. But what I found was the mono copy you see here of this and I pull up the sleeve here and the record I'm like wait that is the exact record I was playing except that was scribbled out what yeah 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 yeah. and we look at the back cover here notice up there one one zero one 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 zero one that back is the exact same back and then the front if we zip over to that, is the exact same front. Look at that. 1101. But the record says 1001. It doesn't really matter. This is what happened. They had a whole bunch of mono pressings of this record. They weren't selling because everybody started having stereo things. So what did they do? If you already bought this in mono, that's okay. This is now volume two in stereo, living sound. It is not. And then on the record, all they did was scribble out where it says mono. And there you go. And it, it's, and it, it, trust me, one, I'm listening to it. It is mono. It is definitely mono. And not only that, but it isn't a volume two. It's the same record. See, number three, happy birthday polka. That was the third track. That's what we're listening to. It is identical. They released the identical record with two different catalog numbers, 1001 and 1101. One was mono, and the other one was mono. Identical in all ways. Only difference is a scribble on the label, a volume two sticker, and stating it's stereo falsely. Oh my gosh. Can't believe I found this at Google for a buck. This is the kind of awesome stuff I love finding, guys. Um, but anyway, thought you'd enjoy that. Ain't that fun? Have you guys ever came across any kind of shenanigans like that with records that you've come across? I'd love to hear the stories, but uh, it's pretty obvious. I think I'm right. They just needed to move these along, and they thought by putting volume two in stereo that even if you owned it already, you would buy this again, and then you realize you got hoodwinked once you got home. Wow. That is awesome. Even though it's all this crap, it doesn't matter. Because remember, what does matter? All vinyl lives matter. Take care, guys.